So we're going to be trying, guys, the Battle of Britain, the impossible mission, uh, where we play as the Germans and we try to protect a bridge, basically. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select the axis here um, to make sure we are fighting as the axis. Now, I keep clicking over here. Please don't get confused. You should actually be clicking right there. You can see we've got some Messerschmitts. We're going to be fighting some uh, Battle Threes as well as some Hurricanes. Let's jump in and hope for the best, guys. Now, in this particular mission, we've got a pretty cool setup. We've got some AA guns here defending this bridge. And you can see that the area here is rife for a battle, for an air battle, that is. The enemy's going to try to destroy the bridge, and our job is to try and stop them. With these BF-109s, these Messerschmitts, I always feel safe. They are just exceptional planes. As you can see, they've got more than just one gun. They've got two guns, uh, a cannon as well as a regular machine gun. These things... They are really, really good. Um, I'm also going to be bringing in these guys as well. I, th I think our altitude is a bit high right now, though, so let me lower it by one. We'll do the same with these other guys, but really we want to try and get to the bridge as soon as possible. Take out as many of the enemies as possible. We can't lower our altitude right now. We can lower speed. That's about it. Let's lower our speed just a bit. Yes, thank you. That's the one camouflage. It's a 20 millimeter cannon and 7.92 millimeter guns. Thanks, mate. That is it. Now, one of these guys is really close to some enemy Spitfires. Hold on a second. I'm going to actually lower his altitude and see if I can't... Oh, no. No, that's going to be too much on the engine. So we're just going to turn towards these guys. We are going to have to get on their level for sure. But this is an opportunity to attack them. And obviously, we want to try and focus on the enemy bombers. Remember, we're trying to defend the bridge. So hitting enemy bombers is definitely on our list of things we want to do. Minus one hex. Yep. And I'm going to turn left. Completely left. There we go. Fall bouts. We're getting into that zone where this could be the beginnings of uh, an actual air fight. But I need to lower this guy's um, altitude. And right now, I think it's his speed. I think we need to lower his speed because he does not want to drop. It could also be the fact that we've got a plane right there. So he doesn't want to crash into him. We'll find out soon enough. All right, here we go. And actually, this guy's at six as well. So you know what? Let's keep things up. We're not even going to lower our altitude. If they want to fight us all the way up here, let's have at it. There we go, boys and girls. So as you can see, with the cannon... This thing, you got to be really close for it to be effective. We're only going to get a 3% chance of hitting that hurricane with the cannon. I'm still going to target him, but we're also going to target him by selecting this light machine gun, and we're going to fire at him as well. And once again, we're pretty far from the enemy here. We're way high up, uh, so the chances of us hitting him are pretty low, but let's hope for the best. He's also going to fire at us. So is his buddy. Thankfully, they missed both shots. We missed our first with a cannon, and yeah, unfortunately... Yeah, just just not an easy shot by any stretch of the imagination. And finally, we can lower a bit, lower altitude a little bit. This guy, we're still trying to lower altitude. I don't know what's up with him. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to get sidetracked by these guys. I'm going to try to actually just turn right past them. Now, do we want to attempt a deliberate co uh, collision? You know what? I've never attempted one. Let's attempt one. Here we go. Kamikaze into the enemy plane. And we also get a shot over here um, at the hurricane. Unfortunately, that first shot is going to miss completely. The second shot, only an 8% chance of hitting with our machine guns. Missed shot, of course. BF-109 over here. Keep it up. There's no reason to really change uh, our altitude or anything, to be honest with you. And hopefully we should be able to catch this guy. But nope. Once again, no ability to decrease our altitude. I'm going to try to turn this way, get out of the flight path of that other plane. Maybe that's the issue. Oh, 
Okay, we've got an opportunity here, boys, um, to start firing with the cannon. This battle three is a bit closer, so I think I'm going to try and fire with a uh, fire on him. Once again, our chances of getting hit are not as great as we'd like them to be. And another thing that's affecting that, take a look here. One of the enemies is actually an altitude level below us. One is an altitude level above us. Now, we can still fire at them, but if we were on the same altitude level, the, the accuracy would be a lot better. So let's see what happens. Oh, they just got a hit on our engine there. That's going to be rough. And it looks like they might be tailing us, so I'm going to immediately turn left, try to get out of the way. Now, this guy is badly damaged. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn him to the right as best I can. Same with this guy. Okay, we've got a shot here, guys. We know that first shot's probably not going to be very effective. Even the second shot, 0% chance of a hit. I've never seen something like that. Could be they're out of ammo, but I think it's just the distance is too great. Actually, we hit him. We actually got a hit. Do you want to make a roll to check for a weapon jam? I don't. But we did actually get a hit on that hurricane, which is pretty hilarious. Unfortunately, it looks like we're about to fly off the map, unless we do something pretty dramatic here. So I'm going to try to do a massive turn. And again, it's pretty unlikely for not very experienced pilots to be able to make those turns. Don't expect all your pilots to be able to do that. In fact, this one looks like he's going to be flying right off uh, the side of the map. Here, I'm definitely going to descend. We were trying to catch up to this guy that's about to hit the bridge. And actually, it might be our AA guns that get a chance to shoot at him first. So here we go, guys. We've got some light AA. Only an 8% chance to hit. You know, flak, obviously, it's, it's not a surefire way to take down a plane. But it's one of many. So let's go ahead and open fire. Attack missed, unfortunately. And they're missing attacks on our fighter pilots as well. Now, there they actually got a hit, but it wasn't enough to destroy the plane. Turn this way, and let me lower my altitude. I'm going to do the same with this guy right here. In his case, we're lowering the speed. Pixel is right. The board game stuff is not the easiest thing to find, um, especially for Check Your Six. Yeah, it's you gotta you gotta look. You'd, I would I'm guessing you probably have to order it offline. I've never actually gone to a hobby shop and seen anything related to Check Your Six. Uh, I only know it exists because I've seen the the tournaments on YouTube. Um, but it's very cool for it to be uh, available in this situation. So we're gonna fire at the Battle Three. That's the guy that has that's carrying the bombs, um, and hopefully we get a hit. Fortunately, attack missed. 8% chance of a hit. Yeah, that is not easy. Um, we've got the BF-109 here. We'll try to fire at this battle. And we'll also fire with our machine gun. Now, 28% chance to hit. Somewhat better odds than we've gotten so far. Oh, boy. I'm amazed they're missing, too. At least we're both missing quite a lot. Nice, guys. We hit the airframe. He is going down. That Battle 3 is done. When a cannon hits the airframe like that, that plane is finished. I mean, a cannon is obviously, uh, somebody mentioned in it earlier, a 20 millimeter round. If that thing's going through a plane, especially if it hits an engine or anything mechanical at all, you are in serious trouble. That thing is going to cause major damage. Um, and there we go. Look at that. So they did hit the bridge, unfortunately. They did damage it. Um, I'm not sure if they've destroyed it completely, but... Uh, that was one of the mission objectives, was for us to save the bridge. And you can't always save everything. That's just the truth. This poor BF-109 looks like he's being chased, and he is, by all of those enemy planes. Look at that, guys. 
All right, increase your speed. Yeah, I'm going to have him just increase his speed right now. Hopefully, he can still get a shot off. All right, we got another flak shot here. Definitely going to fire at the battle three. Damage not inflicted. We did hit it. We just didn't do any damage. So right now, look at that. Our cannon, 42% chance damage. Oh, man, that's a really good chance. Really good opportunity. 72% with our machine gun. I hope our guys get this. Although at the same time, we're being shot at by all these hurricanes behind us, even by the bat gunners of that plane. But there we go. We hit the engine of the Battle 3. The gun crew is hit, and she's going down, guys. I think she's going to land in the river somewhere. Boom! Another awesome attack by the Luftwaffe. We're doing a very good job right now. I'm going to increase my speed just to make sure this guy does not get away. Uh, and I'll actually increase my altitude a bit to try and be on the same level as him. Oh, the bridge has been destroyed. Did you guys see that? No, obviously that was uh, the enemy bombers bombing us as well as the damage inflicted to it by the crashing planes, I believe. Um, but nonetheless, the enemy has accomplished their task. Now, I believe we can keep on playing. But just keep in mind that as the Germans there, you would have basically lost the mission. Um, you know, we could certainly keep trying to get some, some better shots off, etc. Um, but yeah, we've lost the mission right there. I believe. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Anytime you want to check, yeah, right there. So that's an allied victory. But I like to think that was a fun little back and forth. What did you guys think? That was definitely interesting. Um, just having to get into a fight with them. The shots we got were excellent. And I have to say, so far, I'm really loving the game. It's it's just really well done. The rules to determine what part of the plane get hit, what part of the plane starts fires, things like that. Just that alone, uh, for me, makes it a fascinating uh, title.